Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just want to say yay to the LA Rams. It's it's crazy to say, but I'm usually a Raider fan. But since now Los Angeles has a, a LA football team, I'm going for the Rams. So that's why I have the LA Rams decorations back there. But, and I also want to let you guys know that didn't go. Um... The L.A. Rams preseason opener got off to a rowdy start. But, but, the game wasn't exactly trouble-free. You know, they always say it's the blacks that's always got problems. But guess what? It's not the blacks this time. It's a lot of the Hispanic people are fighting against each other. Can we all just get along like Rodney King would say? So, several fights broke out. At Saturday's game, three people were arrested and seven were ejected from the L.A. Memorial Coliseum. That means you get kicked out. People act rowdy, start up something, you're getting out of the place. The L.A. Police Department on Monday evening. And 11 ambulances were also requested, but only one person had to be taken to the hospital according to the LAPD. The department did not know if the individual's conditions or any of the ambulance calls were related to fights. More than 80,000 tickets were sold to the game, which saw the Rams defeat the Dallas Cowboys. Woo! I guess that means the Dallas Cowboys needed more practice than they got, right? The score was 28 to 24. And you know, 28 means the L.A. Rams, they did their thing. They practiced. They also prayed to God to, to beat the game. It was the stadium's first NFL game since 1994. Wow. That was when my son was two years old. And the Rams host the Kansas City Chiefs at 6 p.m. Saturday at the Coliseum. That's coming up this week. We got one more day, and that's when the Kansas City Chiefs will be um, playing against the L.A. Rams. They play two more preseason games, August 27th at Denver and September 1st at Minnesota, before opening the NFL season September 12th against the San Francisco jo uh, 49ers in Santa Clara. So I just wanted to let y'all know, people that um, might be familiar with football, follow the games, but di didn't have a chance to actually go and buy your tickets, haven't had the chance to actually go and maybe watch it on TV. So, you know, and maybe those people that actually got there and got your Uber and Lyft ride, you know, you have the experience of all the traffic going down Figueroa. I didn't really want to see no traffic. So... I picked up a couple, dropped them. I picked them up from Los Angeles, uh, dropped them off in Echo Park. <clears throat> and now when I got over there, I was trying to figure out, do I want to stay in the area or do I want to stay, like, come back north of the 101 freeway, more or less at the 110, which is the area I'm actually familiar with. So I said, well, hey, why not? Mm -hmm. I'll just um, go over there. And see what kind of people I meet over there. So, I picked up two young ladies from Echo Park to the Dodger Stadium. That's where I went. And I was like, you know, kind of lost because last time I went to the Dodger Stadium, it was at night. I didn't know where I was going. They closed the streets off. So, the Waze app is supposed to help you get through traffic. But it also can get you lost when you're not familiar with areas. That's why they actually tell you to go places that you're familiar so you don't get lost so i was able to drive all the way up to the gate drop them off right where the cars go in to the parking lot turn right back around let them out so that was pretty um interesting then i picked up this nice uh, white guy uh, he had on a hat <laughs> and he was going to the liquor store and that's a good thing nowadays that if people are going to hang out with people you can actually take them to a store where they can pick up drinks or you know, whatever else, maybe kind of, who, who knows, but um, I picked I picked him up, I took him to the store, he bought me some water, that was very nice of him, and um, I happened 
to tell them about a story that I had when I was driving um, the bus back in um, 2000 and I don't know, I want to say three or something, but back then um, I wasn't able to go into, once you go down Persian Drive and you're going towards um, the U.S. Customs Building down there in uh, Marina and mm. there's a little circle. It used to be you, the buses can go around and drop people off while they go to the airport. Not anymore. They actually, on that day, they told me I couldn't go forward and I had to bust the back the bus up. It took me 20 minutes. Thank God there was a guy on the bus that was standing next to a fence and he would let me know, back up, go forward. That took me 20 minutes to bust you on the bus, so. I don't know how we got into that conversation, but we did. So then, after I dropped him off, I picked up two girls from Vermont and Pico and dropped them off at the shoe warehouse off of Western and Pico. And <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't too sure about that. So then uh, I, I, turned, I had the app back on still. A couple going to... Um, a wedding reception I picked them up from LA area and they were they were from the Bay San Francisco so um, that was I dropped them off somewhere off of Vine then I met a lady named Hannah Kaylee I don't know if anybody is familiar with her but she says she's been playing the piano for years I tried to look her up can't seem to find her but she said she has a YouTube channel uh, Hannah Kaylee is not two different persons. It's one person and I dropped her off somewhere in Century City and I picked her up in Beverly Hills. So the good thing about that was she said she has a YouTube channel. She doesn't have any followers. So please make sure y'all go out and follow her on her uh, YouTube channel. She might, I think she said she doesn't use it that much, but I said, hey, I, I'll follow you. I love piano and I played piano when I was in, uh, Junior high school, I think, is when I learned from LACC. And I'm not a professional, but I do have a YouTube video showing I played Silent Night and playing the piano. Then I picked up this uh, rich white guy. Oh, by the way, I think she looked white. I'm not sure. She was very fair. She kind of looked like she could have been black, but just real light. So then I picked up this little rich kid. I say rich kid because... Um, he was white also. I picked him up in Beverly Hills and at this time of the night it was about six o'clock in the evening and you know when you're going towards the beach the the fog comes in. It's like you don't really want to be in an area that you can hardly see. Pacific Coast Highway was just beyond crowded coming back southbound and I said oh no I'm not going that because I had to be back home at eight o'clock um to do something so I dropped him off in a Pacific Palisades mansion I don't know what street it was I wouldn't tell that business but he had a beautiful home I wish I could afford to buy one but anyway thanks again for checking me out like my page leave a comment if you have any questions subscribe to my channel check out more videos throughout my links um, and stay true to the game and remember don't talk to strangers. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But you can talk to us because we're usually good people. All right. Yay for the LA Rams. Woo! -hoo!